All right, let's talk. Let's talk. Because if you're free to play like me, well, we might be in trouble. We free to play players might be in trouble. So, all right, you guys should have seen this um, the day before Raya and Veto do come out, which is pretty cool. Obviously, I'm going to do a video on whether or not you should summon for them. Um, I really like their kits, both of them, but I'll go into details as to what they could be doing possibly. So, yeah, be on the lookout. But pretty much today, I want to talk about the units, or in particular, this past month okay this past month is kind of been crazy when it comes to the release of like characters and so if we really take a look at it it's kind of a lot it's kind of a lot and now keep in mind obviously if you're free to play we're not gonna have every unit okay that's just that's just you know guarantee we're not gonna be able to pull every single unit that comes out it's just, it is what it is it's very unfortunate so we kind of have to be careful as to what units we want to choose for what units i think are going to be most beneficial towards our account every account is going to be different everyone's going to be needing different units per different content all that stuff so you know we really have to be like i said very very careful as to what units we summon for um because you know we can't pull out the wallet obviously right but you guys know the game came out i believe may 25th and now it is going to be season one is going to be ending on june 28th so on the 29th that is when we're going to be getting season two which we're going to be getting the second batch of seasonal characters and then that is officially going to start season two now i have kind of tallied up every single unit that we've gotten for a banner wise this month and it is coming out to be around six to like eight units i believe so if we take a look at it right we have the season one units which are obviously mimosa asa and yami so that's three right here and then we got Leet, and then we got Fauna, which is another two. So that's seven, or not seven, that's five units so far. And then now we have Raya and Veto. You could also argue and count Ugolion and um, Red Yami, which if that's the case, that's two, three, that's five, seven, nine units in one season, aka one month. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Now, the cool thing is, okay, the cool thing is, is that these units will be added to the general pool once they leave. So, after the pickup is finished and the update is complete, check the appearance, mage, and probability, and the probability information in the normal summon. So, they are going to be in the normal banner, um, as opposed to, I believe, the seasonal units. They leave whenever their season ends. So whenever season one ends, right? At the end of season one, the three mages of Clover Academy will be excluded from normal summon again and may reappear in the future. So we know that seasonal units are gonna, like once their, you know, radar banner leaves, their pickup banner, they will be added to the general pool for about like two to three weeks. And then after that, once that season ends, then they will leave. Meaning that in the normal banner, from then on at that point, we are gonna be getting these units. So. Excluding these three, right? We're gonna have obviously Fugolion and Yami are already in the normal banner, just you know at a low rate. Leet and Fauna are then gonna be added to the normal banner once their banner ends, and then after the banners for Raya and Veto leave, these two will be added to the general pool. So I know it's kind of a lot to take in. So nine units, dude. That's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, that is a, a decent amount, um, especially for free to play. The cool thing is, is that right? The game is. I would say pretty generous when it comes to the amount of currency that we can get from pvp tickets you know summon crystals your weeklies your dailies they do give out a decent amount okay they give out a lot i'm a huge fan of it um i mean i did like a whole bunch of summons for leaked and i have like close to 20k or close to like 17k at the moment but whenever you know raya and veto do come out i should probably have a lot a decent amount more so i'm pretty happy about that i'm pretty happy about that but nine units per one season i feel like is a lot and keep in mind right they could always they could do something to where they rinse and repeat, and also, I completely forgot about it, but if we also want to include Charlotte and Steffel Banner as well, that's 10 summon banners that we've gotten for this one month. That is insane. That is absolutely insane, and keep in mind, when you're not summoning, you're not just summoning for a character by itself, you're also summoning for a character and their skill card as well, so it's just like, that's a lot of summons. If we want to count the, the skill cards as well, that is what, so that's like, what, 9 units, that's, and every unit has a skill card? That's 18 things that we potentially have to summon for in one month. And then if you want to include Charlotte and her skill card, that's 20 things that we have to summon for. So, I mean, but obviously if you're free to play and you're watching this, then most likely your goal isn't to necessarily get the skill card, it's to really get the unit. And then we kind of have to work around what's a suitable skill card that we can use for that unit. So I'm not going to really count skill cards, but if you do want to get technical with it, then yeah, we're, we're summoning for like 20 things per month, which is insane. And obviously we're not going to be able to get every single one of them. So 
we kind of have to be very careful. So if, okay, so this is kind of like um, like a small strategy summon for these guys, but not really. I'll do like a whole detailed one, but just be careful, okay? We don't know what season two is going to entitle or entail, entitle? Entail. I think it's entail. We don't know what season two is going to have, pretty much is what I'm saying. Um, we do know that summer units are apparently going to be coming, so that's pretty, pretty cool. But we don't know what units we're going to be getting in particular. Now, season two, I believe the next content or the next chapters, I think, because these characters are all, you know, uh, going in line with the chapter release. So we just got into these three, which were introduced in this recent chapter, chapter four. Chapter five should be should be the like underground sea temple arc which is going to include um oh my gosh what are the names but you know, like this the sea people and then we are going to be getting i believe we should be getting vettel's form as well so it's going to be a lot man it's going to be a lot uh, we don't obviously don't know what these season two units are doing but just keep in mind if you really want to be free to play and you like you want to summon as much as possible Summon for the units that you think are going to be beneficial towards your account. Obviously, that's a no-brainer, but still, I mean, I'm trying to put things into context for y'all so y'all know. But yeah, nine units per month, that is insane. And I'm assuming that we can probably, you know, expect a step-up banner um, every single month, minimum of one. Um, I think it's not bad. I think that's a good idea because a step-up banner, we don't have to summon for it. So, and I think, I think potentially the next step-up banner that we could be getting could be a Fauna step-up banner. I'm not too sure, so do not quote me on that. But, um, yeah, potentially we could be getting a Fauna step-up banner, but if not, then it could just be a regular step-up banner for one of the units. And obviously, you guys know that that unit is guaranteed at step 10 when you finish the step-up. So, yeah, that is cool. Step-up banner, I think, is a great way for players to go ahead and save and skip. Unless it's a really broken unit and you don't have them, then yeah, obviously you summon. But, um... Yeah, if they want to do things to where, like, you know, drop a banner that really isn't important that you don't need to summon for, that's great. And, you know, if you are a fan of the unit, obviously summon for them because you're a fan and you want them. But if you're trying to be, like, you know, quote unquote meta, being free to play, then, you know, only summon for units that are going to beneficial, that are going to be beneficial towards your account. Don't go crazy on every single banner because you're not going to be able to afford, afford it, I promise you. Um, so, yeah, I've been kind of really careful about how I summon. I'm not going to be doing, like, these you know splurge summons and all that stuff i'm gonna be really really careful going forward um just because like now i know right nine units that's a lot man that's a lot so and potentially out of the nine units obviously not every single one of them is going to be a must summon broken unit i'm probably going to say or maybe around like three to four units could be very very good but um yeah we just kind of have to be careful right you guys so yeah, that is that. I just wanted to put things into context for y'all. So just in case you guys aren't aware of it and you guys think that this month flew by and you know, wasn't anything too crazy, it was. It was, it was, it was. It absolutely was. Nine units is crazy. Um, and keep in mind, you know, as as the chapters go by, as we get like, you know, new chapters, you know, new arcs and all that stuff, the hype is going to be building up, dude, because believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, after this Sea Temple arc, we'll be going into the Witch Force arc in which we get our very first form of double asta so <laughs> that is crazy so yeah the hype is just going to be constantly building up we're going to be getting you know new character forms new units all that stuff um it is going to be getting a lot more hype going forward so i really suggest y'all be careful with your summons only summon for the meta units or units that you're a fan of and you know don't don't do the thing to where like oh yeah let me be lucky let me throw in a few summons because those summons add up man they really really do so just be careful you guys and um keep in mind one last thing with these rate up banners i don't think we are getting gold coins to when we can then exchange for um you know summon tickets and you know other stuff i think it's only on the seasonal banners we get that so also you have to keep in mind okay be careful be careful be careful be careful but um yeah, so this right here. So at the end, each remaining ga bonus gauge is exchanged for one bonus coin. I don't think we get that for radar banners, which is, you know, these two, these two, and then these two coming out tomorrow. So um, it seems like it's only going to apply towards the seasonal banner, which is good. But um, yeah, it sucks. It really does suck. I, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I feel like they should have made it to where this is a thing as well. But I guess it's not. So let me know what are y'all thoughts on it. So do you think it's a good thing, bad thing? Nine units. Um, if you want to get technical, it's ten units. Do you think it's too much, too little, just enough? In my in my opinion, I do think it is a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, what are we gonna do about it? You know. So hopefully they hear us and kind of make adjustments accordingly. But who knows? Okay, they could not necessarily release nine units per month. 
maybe they're just doing that in accordance to the characters that we see per that chapter you know so they could do that but i don't think they are because you know they could easily like they could easily throw out oh yeah this unit has a new form bam we're gonna release a new version of that character so you know they they could easily do that um so that's what i'm expecting them to to do as well so i i i'm not surprised but um yeah let me know y'all's thoughts and i'm um, curious to see, to see what y'all have to say so comment 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 and then um yeah i will be going live on wednesday for the new units and stuff like that so it'll be cool we're gonna have a good time and all that stuff but i will see you on this one peace